Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna compare 12 different AI apps, text to image apps that you can use for print on demand. Now, the last time I made a video kinda like this, this one right here, I only compared three different ones, uh, Mid Journey, Leonardo, and Ideogram. Um, but this time I'm gonna compare a lot of other ones that people have been asking for that like Kittle AI and uh, Canva and some of the things that are in the news like uh, Microsoft one and, and the one from Meta. So we're gonna see a lot of these. At the end of this video, I'm gonna make a nice table so you can see everything that you need to, the name, where to find it, how much it costs and so on. So a lot to see in this video. You don't wanna miss it and you'd wanna stay tuned to see all of it and compare all of it to each other. In fact, I'm gonna use the same prompt on all of these so you can see the output on all of these. So we're gonna start with the first one, the most popular one that I think most people are using and that is Mid Journey. All right, uh, I just wanted to make this point that if you're looking for Mid Journey and you use Google, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stay away from some of these. You can see this one's sponsored, that is not Mid Journey, even though it says Mid Journey right there. And this one is not Mid Journey either, even though it says Mid Journey right there. I, you know, I think Google needs to crack down on these guys, but anyway, this one is Mid Journey. Look for that ship here, that icon, this this one right here. That is the official Mid Journey. And when you click on there, it's midjourney.com, by the way. So you can't miss it. If, if it says something else, it's not Mid Journey. So come in here. I'm already signed in. So um, yours will probably say slash app or whatever. Um, but I think the thing that we're going to want to see is how much does this cost? Now, a lot of people uh, started with Mid Journey and the thing that made it uh, very popular was that it's free, but there is no free account. So if you go again on Google and search, can you use Mid Journey for free? Uh, you can see it says as of 2023, June 2023, no longer uh, available, but these are the plans here. Um, I have this basic one right here, $10 a month, uh, standard plan 30, pro plan 60, and you can see the different ones right here, what, what it entails, right? So you can take a screenshot here. They all have commercial rights, so you can use this for print on demand. And if you decide to do yearly bidding, um, billing, you can save some money by doing it that way. So um, there's that. And I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like. So here's my mid journey. I'm on Discord, it works in a Discord. So I made my own server here that can that runs on the uh, mid journey thing. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but I'm gonna use the same prompt that I'm gonna use for all of these. And that is something really easy like this, a cartoon cat wearing sunglasses on a white background. The difference is on mid journey, you have to actually type in imagine. So let's do that then hit that, then put in your prompt, and then hit enter. So Mid Journey is gonna give you four different ones, and then I didn't really do uh, much on this prompt, but we're gonna take a look at it. I'm using version six right now. There's other versions and there's other Mid Journey things in here, but we'll see how this does, just to give you a sense of what it can do with this. Um, but we can also look at, just on the account here, the Mid Journey feed, like these are kind of the things that it can do. So very cool design wise, uh, photo realistic things. It can also do, uh, you know, art like that. So I think Mid Journey is a really good choice for uh, print on demand if you're doing posters, if you're doing obviously posters, or I think there's some sticker things, some art things in here. So you just have to make sure the prompt is not edge to edge. You're gonna want some kind of sticker or white background so that you can remove the background. So. Let's see if it's done here. There you go. This is what it looks like, a cat wearing sunglasses on a white background, and it's pretty cool. You could use this. The idea would be you take this, remove the background, put some text on it, and you got a good t-shirt, right? So there you go. Everything you need to know just really quickly about Mid Journey. So you can see here with $10 a month or $8 a month, depending how you pay it, you get about 200 generations, and if you jump up to the next plan, you get unlimited. So that's kind of how it works here for Mid Journey. So, I think that's everything we need to know. We're gonna compare now. Everything's gonna be compared to Mid Journey. And the next one we're gonna look at is Leonardo. All right, so here we are on Leonardo. Leonardo.ai is how you get there. You're gonna to have to create your own account. Now you can use Leonardo for free, but you're gonna to have to put in a name and a password. And once you do, you're gonna to go to app.leonardo.ai signed in. I'm signed in here, you can see uh, their MD tour shirts. Now these are the kinds of things that Leonardo does and really cool like gaming stuff and photorealistic and you know, just really cool kind of 
a little bit different than Mid Journey, but I think it's still very, very cool. I'm gonna scroll up again and we can see they also do anime, they also do character, uh, food, and so on. Um, some more realistic stuff, but you can see they do coloring books and graphic as well. So you're just gonna have to put in the right prompt in here. And we're gonna uh, generate one with the cat design. But before we do that, let's look at the prices. There is a free plan on Leonardo. You can see 150 daily tokens and I'll show you how much uh, each one costs. Some of them are more than one token uh, to do it. And then uh, Apprentice, Artisan, Standard, and of course the tokens go up and, the, and like Mid Journey, some of the higher ones have unlimited generations, right? So, uh, well, let's go back here and let's do image generation. And I'm gonna go type in my prompt here, a cartoon cat wearing sunglasses on a white background. We're gonna use that same one. You can see 16 tokens. And the reason for that is because alchemy's on. I'm gonna turn that off now, it's just one. So alchemy um, is just another way to make it even better. And you know, if you have the credits, I would say use that because it's it's better. But I don't need it photo real because I'm making a cartoon cat and, and some of these things. So uh, I'm gonna make sure that it's a square. So I'm gonna do, 1024 by 1024 there and just hit generate. Now it's using two tokens, um, probably because I made it the other size instead of the, the size that it was at one token. So just know about that uh, 150 then at two tokens would only give you about 75 um, generations. So let me hit that and we're gonna see what this looks like. So you can kind of compare uh, Mid Journey versus Leonardo, see which one would work for you. I, I think they both could work. This is with Dream Saper V7. I forgot, I probably should have just done Stable Diffusion 1. I think this was gonna be the better one. So I, I don't like this. I'm gonna do it again, one token. Let's use Stable Diffusion. All right, so I'm back. I had to try a bunch of different styles on Leonardo because I'm not familiar which, which style would be the best for a cartoon. You can see this one, uh, stable Diffusion <laughs> didn't do so well. This was Dream Shaper, um, but this one did great, but it's not a cartoon cat, it's more 3D if we look at it. It's pretty cool though. Um, but what I was looking for was something more like this and I used uh, Leonardo Anime XL and that's what came out. So uh, you're gonna might have to, you might have to play around with this one to get the right thing, uh, but you can see Leonardo can do it. It just has so many different models to choose from that you have to pick the right model. So there you go, everything you needed to know about Leonardo. The next one we're gonna look at is Ideogram. So here we are on Ideogram. You can see some of the stuff that Ideogram does, some really cool things. They're mostly known for the text uh, thing. I made a video about this where they, they were one of the first ones to kind of make text really well on um, images on a with AI. So you can see a lot of their things have text in here and some really nice fonts too. So it's not just Helvetica text, it's like, custom text on here uh, done with uh, AI. So I've done videos for this. I'm gonna show you the price plan, the subscription plan first. Uh, you can use Ideogram for free, but there are some things here. So first of all, uh, you only get 25 prompts a day in a slow queue for free. And you have all in generated images are public. So that's one thing that's different. People will see your designs, they could potentially use it. So, uh, and because AI stuff isn't copyrightable, um, you know, there's the potential that they might use your design as well. So when you pay for Ideogram for the $8, you get 400 prompts. You still have images that are public, but if you jump up again and you want something that's more private, that's what this $20 one is for. And that's monthly. And of course, if you pay annually, it's a little less saves you some money, but you can see all the different things here. I'm not gonna go into every one of these, but there's some really cool things that Ideogram does. So let's see what it turns out with, with the prompt I have here, a cartoon cat wearing sunglasses on a white background. I'm not gonna pick any of these, but I do, do use square and you can see right here, you can do private or public. Uh, I have the higher one so I can choose, but if you don't, you're gonna have to um, make it public. So. Let's just do public. I'm gonna generate here. It's gonna generate four at a time. And just like Mid Journey, we can you know, pick which one of the four that we like. Leonardo, on the other hand, only did one at a time, but you could have picked four and I would have used more, more credit. So I didn't do that. Uh, let's see what it comes up with though. 
So there you go, it kind of does a range more realistic and then kind of a cartoony uh, 3D and then I don't know what kind of style this is, but it is a cartoony and then just the face. So that's, this is kind of the quality Ideogram has. Of course, it does more cat stuff and you can search search for those kinds of things too. You can see it does some things that are a lot better than this, but you know, it's hit and miss with AI and this is kind of what you get at the first crack here. So that's Ideogram. I think it can be used. There are some really cool, cool things in here um, that you know would work really well on uh, T-shirts too. So scroll through here, see if it's the style that you like. I would suggest that you um, try some things on here. It's absolutely free, so you can try it out to see if you like it. So the next AI that I use is ChatGPT, and you can go to chat.openai.com. Now ChatGPT is free, but ChatGPT with Dolly 3 is not free and you're going to need Dolly 3 if you want to do some text to image things on ChatGPT. So here's the prices. You can see right here, free for anybody that wants to use ChatGPT if you want text, um, you know, kind of talking to you or then writing writing paragraph or writing a book or whatever you need. Um, that is unlimited. You can use that uh, messaging and all those things for free, which is really cool. But if you want Dolly 3 and you want to use this for print on demand, you're going to have to pay 20 bucks a month uh, or 25 if you're a team. And that's that's pretty much it. That's that's how much it costs there. Um, so you can just use chat GPT 4, which is what I have here. And I'm going to put in my prompt. Now, I usually use one of these GPTs, but I'm not going to use that. I usually use StickerWiz if you've seen my videos. But chat GPT 4 by itself can do this too. Uh, and we'll see what it looks like. So this does one at a time. A lot of people have told me that I should be should have done four when comparing it to Ideogram and Midjourney because they do four, but I think it will just show you kind of what it can do. So there you go, very cool. Uh, I think I love the style of ChatGPT, the, the graphic style. This is why I, prob I use it more than some of the other ones now. And the fact that I can do a st one with StickerWiz um, which really matches my style. If you want to try some of the other GPTs, which is really cool, I think that's um, what you should do is go find one. I made one with that uh, Kawaii Creator. There's one that's for a coloring book and so on. So I have a video for that as well. But there you go. So ChatGPT. So if you're on this page, openai.com, ChatGPT pricing, scroll down here from that page, you'll notice image generation right here. And that is with the plus. Uh, only, but it doesn't say how many. So it's just unlimited image generation. There are some times where you'll have to take some breaks if you keep hitting it over and over, but after about 15 minutes, you can come back again and do some more. So there's really isn't like a, you know, set number of uh, images that you can make with ChatGPT every day. It's pretty much as many as you can. So the next one I want to talk about is Kiddo AI, and Kiddo actually has an AI thing that you can use. I'm here on kiddo.com and I'm gonna go to tools and we're gonna do AI generator, image generator right here. And you can see it's free AI text image generator and you can start using Kiddo. I already signed into mine, so I'll show you how it works. So this is the new project here. We're gonna go to oh, pick a standard. I'm gonna do 1200 by 1200 and then AI is right here, boom. And we're just gonna put in our prompt like that, a cartoon cat wearing sunglasses. Now. This one, uh, this AI, you can choose your style. So instead of typing in what kind of style it is, uh, kind of like Leonardo, you're gonna have to pick your style. And I'm gonna just pick this cartoon one, since it's cartoon, and I'm gonna hit generate. And you can see it's using two credits, AI credits. So this also has credits, um, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's on sale, but this right now it, there's credits. So we'll see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna show you the pricing of Kittle as well. So here's Kittle's version of the prompt that I did. I think I, I really like this. This is very cartoony. Now I could have done some other ones, but really cool. I think you can use this on a t-shirt and you can actually build t-shirts here in Kittle if you have a Kittle subscription. So let me show you the prices for Kittle. So here are the different prices. You can actually use Kittle for free. Try it out. Uh, there's 20 AI credits, uh, single use not per day, this is just to try it out. So basically the, the free version of Kittle is to try it out, see if you like it. Uh, you can also work on 20 projects, but it's also low res. So the, you know, it's mainly again to try it out. And this, there is a commercial license for free, but you have to 
um, it says requires attribution. So you got to say this is from Kittle and so on. Whereas some of the other ones, uh, these, the pro version, you get 30, 30 AI credits per day. So you can keep making uh, a certain amount every day, uh, it, but it does tap off at 30. And then you have full commercial license. You don't have to, um, it doesn't require attribution. So there you go, $10, I think is the, the lowest, even though, um, you know, you'll get 20 for free, but after that you're done with the free one. So I would suggest if you want to use it, $10. Uh, and I guess we're looking at bill, bill yearly. Here's monthly, it's $15 if you go month to month, but yearly will save you some. And you can see uh, there's an expert version where you get 100 credits a day or unlimited. If I did that, it, it jumps up to $89 a month. So that's how that's how they did theirs. So there you go, everything you needed to know about Kittle, the price pan and how it works and everything. So the next one I wanted to talk about is Canva AI. If you didn't know, Canva also has AI and you can do some things for free. I'll show you what it is. Um, let's go into pricing first. So here's the pricing for AI. You can see Canva free. Um, there's lots you can do with Canva free, but then there's Canva Pro and Canva for Teams and so on. I'm looking at the yearly, um, but then you can go monthly $15 a month or yearly, which is, I can save you some money there. So the thing with AI and Canva is, you don't get, well, it says right here, AI generated writing and designs, but it's limited. So you have to come down here and look at this table. Um, I think there's a drop down at this table wasn't open by default, but then you can see Canva free up here, zero. And how much do you get? 50 total uses. I don't know why they didn't put it up there, but I, I guess, cause this is very long, all the different AI tools that they have uh, for free, you can do it 50 times, again, just to try it out. You're gonna need a Canva Pro plan if you wanna use it more than that, and you get 500 uses per month with Canva Pro, and of course, if you get uh, the same if you do Teams. Uh, let me show you what it looks like, where it goes. You can do this Magic Studio right here, uh, and then a lot of AI stuff right here. The one you want is this one right here, text to image. So I'm gonna click that and we can try it out. Again, you get 50 for free and it's gonna pull it up here. If you are already on here uh, and you went to design, so that's one way to get there, but you can come in here and then do magic media and you'll, you'll find that too. So let's do it. our prompt here, a cartoon cat wearing sunglasses. And again, you can pick the different styles. Um, I'm gonna pick, anime this time uh, and because it's more cartoony you can see some of these other ones and I'm going to generate image and this is also going to give four ideas and you're going to be able to pick one and let's see some other results so here are all the results again this is anime version so I'm going to click on here and you can use it right into the Canva app uh, and then you can add text and use this for a t-shirt if you want or a sticker or whatever you need uh, again uh, I used anime, but you can use some different styles to get a different style here and play around with it for free. You get 50 for free before you have to pay it. So um, try it out and see if you like it. So the next one I wanted to talk about is Creative Fabrica. So you can see right here, here are their uh, different subscription plans. You got the crafts, the fonts, the graphics. I believe the AI would be falling under graphics and of course all access where you get all of them. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that Spark, which is the create art, the AI art, is actually free if you sign in. So I couldn't actually find that because I, I'm already a, a member, but try and test that out. I believe it's free. So I'm gonna go back. This is me in incognito mode, but I'm gonna go to Spark here and test it out. So I'm gonna hit create art here. And you can see I have some credits. You can buy more credits here. So I'm guessing when you come in here, some of this, this will be free. And then um, let's just try out the prompt here. So a cartoon cat on a white background, hit ignite. So it's gonna do four as well. And we're gonna see what kind of uh, designs it comes up with. I guess it's having some problems here and generating, but we got some things here. And then you just have to publish. And I think you can use these. Now there's a lot more. I hit cartoon on this one because it's cartoon, but you can try some of these other ones as well. And there's some a community feed too. So if you wanna get uh, AI that other people have done, so let's say that you like this one right here, I believe you can use this with their plan. So you can download commercial uses allowed, 
and so on. So I'm already on a plan. So I'm basically free, I guess, uh, if you already have access and I think it's actually free um, to try it out uh, with a, a few of the downloads. So I couldn't really find free or not. You might have to help me on this one, uh, how many credits you get for free and things like that. But uh, this is another AI that you can use that a lot of people are using because they already have Creative Fabrica for text and, and graphics and things. This is just another thing that's kind of built in to it. So here's an AI app that was suggested to me by one of my followers on Facebook. Uh, I've never played with it, but I, I tried it out just a little bit so you can, so I can see how it works. And look at this, first of all, look at the amazing artwork. It's pretty cool, um, very neat. One of the different things, uh, oh, by the way, it's lexia.art is the way you get there, lexia.art. There's two different things you can generate or you can search. So you can search on here for like, let's do the same prompt. Uh, cartoon cat wearing sunglasses on a white background. I'm going to search for things that already have been done and you can look through here. It's kind of a neat idea. I hope more uh, AI things use this, but you can see they already have a library of really cool things and maybe you're like, oh, I want to do this one or this one, this one. And so you can start there or you can generate. So you can come in here and hit generate. I've already tried it. Uh, to test it out and you can see some of the cool artwork that it does really neat i love this one right here just <laughs> i don't know it's really cool um, but here's the downside uh, if you go to account you'll notice that there are only paid plans so you can try this indefinitely if you scroll down here you can see can i use images for commercial purposes and it says right here you can use any image you find for personal use but for commercial use uh, you must have a paid plan. So there you go. Um, so if you're going to use this, if you're serious about this and you tried it out and you really like their designs on here, you're going to have to start with, um, or you're going to have to use one of these plans. And the first one's the starter plan. Interesting that they go backwards this way, but uh, uh, thousand generations for $10, 3000 for 30 bucks and 7,000 for 60 bucks, which means this is the better deal. If you can make, if you're going to need that many, uh, generations but I mean a thousand is a lot a lot of designs so if you can create a thousand designs that that would be a lot they recommend this one and there's discounts you know for yearly plans if you want to sign on them yearly but I would try it out first um, go back here generate some or go to home and see kind of just search with what kind of stuff they have on here um, let's see if they do stickers I'm very curious um, yeah yeah, they have a ton of stickers. So um, try it out. Stickers, t-shirts, really cool artwork. Just you have to figure out, is this the one that you want to use? Is this the one you want to spend $10 a month on for print on demand? So another site recommended by my followers on Facebook. Facebook's great. Uh, Recraft.ai. You can see right here. It's kind of an interesting thing. It's almost like a Figma or something where you can build the whole thing on here. I haven't played around with it too much, but you can see some really cool things. You might want to start here and, and try it out. Um, you can try it for free. Like it says, I've already logged in. So you're going to have to put in your email and that's pretty much it. Let's check out the pricing before we look at it. You can see here, totally free commercial license. Images are public though. That's one of the differences. But for $20 a month, uh, you still have, I, I would guess, unlimited. They're not saying how many. You got the commercial license still, but now you can make it private and it's a little faster. So that's what you're paying with the $20 a month. If you do yearly, if you do monthly, it's $25 there. So uh, let me log in. I believe I'm already logged in. Yes. So um, there's an on onboarding when you first log in. So I'm going to show you what that is. And it just tells you, like, uh, I can zoom in here. Uh, you can edit things, you can be um, knocked out, you can try different things like that. And so we're just going to try, um, I'm going to zoom out here. And you have like this infinite artboard and kind of tools here, which I haven't tried out yet, but it kind of feels like you have a, this is a graphic design app, not just a, not just a uh, AI app, right? So I'm going to pick, um, of course, Kawaii, yes. And then, and then I'm going to do our, our thing, a cartoon cat wearing sunglasses in the background. Okay. And one by one. Great. Um, and then recraft. Let's see what happens. 
Oh, and uh, it's, so it's changing this one. If I didn't make my own, I think I could have done that too, but it's changing this one. So let's zoom in here and see what it's going to turn out to be. Yeah, pretty cool. It gave me two options actually down here. So you can see there it is a cartoon cat, um, kawaii style with sunglasses. So pretty cool. Uh, try this out again, totally free. I don't know how I, how I missed this one. I'm glad that uh, people told me about this. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So again, Recraft, uh, you're going to have to log in uh, on that first page, but absolutely free and has a lot, a lot of tools that I didn't even get into. Let me know if you wanted me to do a video about this because it would be new to me. So it'd be f fun to see what, what it can do all of this for free. So the next one I wanted to show you is Copilot by Microsoft. You've probably seen a commercial for it or so. I think they had one for the Super Bowl. Um, it's in, been in the news as well. So you can see Copilot Pro is $20, but you can use a free version of Copilot. And the difference here is um, you can create and edit AI images with 15 boosts um, per day. And the Pro one has 100 daily boosts, but you might be asking what are daily boosts? And I had the same question right here in the top questions. Um, it just gives you a boost, like a speed boost, but it's not how many image generations that you get. Boosts do not refer to the number of images you can create. So I'm guessing you can create as many as you want. It doesn't say here and doesn't give you, um, but let's use, let's use the free version here. Um, I already pulled it up here and let's try, let's try that prompt here, a cartoon cat wearing sunglasses, see what it does and what it turns out. Uh, I, I think I forgot to press something because <laughs> it didn't draw it. I'm going to say, yes, can you draw it too? <laughs> Whoops. So you can see uh, Copilot is a lot like ChatGPT where it will answer questions, but it can also draw. And so some of these I think are really cool. Uh, and then you can hopefully download these right here and share, um, but really neat. Uh, and you can do it in different colors too. I just did a rigid, a different styles. I mean, and they, you can play around with that. So play around with this. This one is also powered by Dolly 3, just like ChatGPT. So I'm really liking Dolly 3's uh, art here. And I, I believe this is Vector. Wow, it th could be Vector um, already, which is kind of neat. So uh, have fun with this one. This is copilot.microsoft.com. And again, uh, you can use it for free. Uh, but there's a $20 Pro and it, you can build your own GPTs and so on. And, and it's much faster than the original, which the original was, was kind of fast already. So um, if you want to use that, you can do that right there. So one you might not have heard about, I just found out about this and that is Meta does. There's the people behind Facebook and uh, Instagram. Uh, you can sign in with your Facebook or Instagram account and you can try it out. This is Imagine with Meta, Meta AI and I believe it's free. If you're on um, any of these apps, Instagram or Facebook, you can try this out for free. I'm going to do it right here and generate and see what comes up. Uh, yeah, so um, some of these are hit and miss. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Uh, and there you go. So you can try these out for free. I believe um, you can report here. So it's still learning some of the things. Um, not my favorite um, designs on here, but again, uh, I'm sure it's going to get better and better. And it comes free if you already have a Facebook or Instagram account. So the last one that I want to talk about is with Adobe and it's called Adobe Firefly. You can see the Firefly free plan you can use right here. Everybody can try it out. Uh, you get 25 credits monthly. But if you're on some of the other plans or if you have uh, Illustrator or Photoshop, it, it comes with that as well. So you can see uh, you can use that too. So with some more uh, credits to it. So um, I have Illustrator so I can use it here. So let's um, try it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, Adobe Firefly right there. Text to image here. And I'm going to put in the prompt that we've been using for this whole video. Oh. It's not there. It's right here. He put the prompt down here. A cartoon cat wearing sunglasses. Let's go. And you can see uh, here they also have square content type, uh, style, different styles down here as well, structure and so on. So you can kind of get uh, some cool things. Huh, cool. Uh, and they have four as well. So we can do that and four, 
four. So some pretty cool um, different style here. And of course you can update the style, um, visual intensity or lower the intensity or uh, things like that. So have fun with this. You can try this out for free. Again, firefly.adobe.com and try it out, see what you like. Download it here. And again, you get a, a bunch of the designs for free, but you can see you can get 25 um, pictures. And I, I believe it comes in groups of four. So each one gave you four, four results. So 25 times four, 100 really uh, that you can try out and see. So there you go. Those are 12 different uh, text to image apps online that you can use. Uh, some of them are free, some of them not. I made this right here, this uh, download, this table. You can see I'm going to put it on my downloads page on my channel so you can have it as a reference and try out, try out which ones you want. I wouldn't suggest to subscribe to all of them, but find the one that works best for you, your style, and uh, you can use it for print on demand. And if you don't know how to use it for print on demand, check out this video right here where I go step by step on uh, using an AI for t-shirt design and you can follow along there. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.